So this morning, Rockstar has announced that June 13th will be the release date for the new upcoming DLC, that being the San Andreas Mercenaries update. Now, I'm going to read it off really quick what was said on the Newswire because you guys can read it for yourselves. I'm not going to just stretch the video out of me just scrolling through the Newswire. So let's just jump right into it. So there's going to be daily time trials. So instead of waiting a week for the, the time trials to refresh, we're going to get daily time trials. I'm not sure this is going to apply to RC vehicles or HSW time trials, but we are going to be getting daily time trials. So hopefully we'll be able to get $100,000 every day for completing these time trials. There's going to be a new set of missions with this DLC, your hangar mechanic, Charlie. And in, in these missions, you're going to be going up against Meriwether with his old military crew, I guess. I'll get more into that later. And now there is a claim all option for Moore's Mutual. This was taken away from the game like almost nine years ago, but I guess they're adding it back. I guess they figured out what was the problem with it in the first place because people were using it to get car duplication glitches and all that good stuff. There's also going to be an alternative sprint option. You know, hold the sprint will be added to the settings menu, which is always good. You know, it will help with PvP and whatnot. You can now add custom description tags for your garage. So if you have like an all JDM garage, you can say, hey, this is my JDM garage. You got a supercar garage. Hey, this is my supercar garage. And like, oh, this garage has this vehicle. This garage has this vehicle. So it's, it'll be a lot easier to go through your mechanic list, especially for those of us who have a lot of cars in the first place. The Willard Eudora and the Albany Classic Broadway will become eligible for taxi work when using taxi liveries. I don't know why this wasn't added with the previous DLC, considering that taxi work came out with previous DLC, but whatever. Updates to the creator incorporate additional props and weather options, including snow. That's always good. There's been a buff added to the Avenger. They're going to add pony missiles and all that good stuff, and it's going to be serving as a base of operations and it's possibly going to be needed to complete these new missions. I don't know for sure. We're going to get into that later. And also you will no longer need a facility or a hangar in order to store the Avenger. So you can just outright buy the Avenger about paywalls walls with the facility or the hangar. Again, oh, that's always good. So that's everything that's pretty much been said on the newswire. Now let's get into what you'll need for the DLC. You're obviously going to need a hangar because I don't believe you meet Charlie outside of buying the hangar. You're obviously going to need the hangar to start these missions. And you're possibly going to need to have the Avenger as well. And like I said before, the Avenger might serve as like a terabyte almost, like a terabyte 2.0. Like I believe these missions might be like, there's going to be like free roam missions. There's going to be like story missions. I believe the Avengers is going to have like free roam missions like client jobs are with a terabyte. Looking forward to that. So you're going to need the hangar. The cheapest hangar is about $1.2 million over in LSIA. And the Avenger is about $3.4 million. We, we're not too sure if we need that or not. But the Avenger was talked about a lot in the Newswire. So I would buy it. But I would only buy it after DLC comes out. So you don't have to pay for the facility or the hangar. So you can just buy only the Avenger outright. And not have to worry about any paywalls or anything like that. And now for the potential drip feed. And obviously Rockstar past two DLCs. They've been really bad at the drip feed. That being said, they've been stretching the drip feed as long long as they could and according to the take two earnings call that, that happened last month they're doing that because it prolongs player interaction with the game so it keeps players coming back to the game so if they drip feed just one gun a week or drip feed a car hard difficulties for missions or even properties like the 50 car garage that keeps player engagement up higher so be expecting that so let's talk about day one content so rockstar most likely won't release everything all on day one they haven't done that since the 2020 summer update. So I think for day one content, we're going to receive five land vehicles in total. And we're, we're going to receive two of the planes that were seen on the newswire. So we're probably going to have like three cars on legendary motorsports. And we're going to have like two cars on Southern San Andreas Auto that equals a five. And that's sort of what's been the standard since I believe Criminal Enterprise DLC. Now, how expensive is this DLC going to be? I think it's going to be about $13 million just for day one. The five potential land vehicles, that including the new SUV and the Imani Tech Electric Challenger, or it's based off of a Charger Daytona concept car. So $13 million, that being the upgrades for the Avenger, the five potential vehicles, and the two fighter jets that are shown in the newswire. 
I think that's all going to equal out $13 million. Hopefully, we get more than just five vehicles. I don't think Rockstar has ever had a DLC where it's only five vehicles on current gen and next gen consoles. Like, that was the case for 360 and PS3, but, you know, we're on PS5 now. Also, keep in mind, you still got to pay at least $1.2 million for the hangar, and you have to pay $3.4 million for the Avenger. Keep that in mind. But again, this is all day one, so if you just have a hangar, I'm pretty sure we should be set on these missions to, like, actually experience the missions now i don't think this is going to be a big update we really haven't had a big update since the contract dlc back in 2021 a lot of these updates have been just quality of life you know the small little things like i was expecting the criminal enterprise dlc to be a big dlc when it really wasn't i thought it was gonna be centered around the iaa like there was iaa missions but i thought we were gonna actually like i thought in that dlc we we're gonna buy like an iaa office we we're gonna like have like a, a feature similar to Kiro serve but it turns out that wasn't the case they're just essentially just contact missions and with the drug wars dlc it did add a new business but and the contact missions were basically like oh if you want to have the business or the new car you're gonna have to do these missions so the missions aren't gonna be like these big cinematic set pieces like in previous years for example the contract doomsday Sino heist kyle perico i think it's gonna be a very small dlc and there's nothing wrong with that but this kind of sucks we gotta wait six months just for these small dlcs and like have like you know four months worth of drip feed you know but that's pretty much all i really gotta say about this new dlc this is all completely speculation i don't work for rockstar i'm, I'm not an insider i don't have any sources on the inside this is all speculation you know considering the past few years of dlc like the vehicles have have ranged certain certain prices and whatnot so this is all, again, speculation. I don't know exactly how much the DLC is going to be, but it's going to be in the ballpark of $13 million on day one. And then all together, after the drip feed's done, maybe $25 million to $30 million if you want to buy everything. And that's a big stretch. But I'd say if you have about $5 million, you're pretty much set to enjoy the DLC. And you're pretty much also set if you already own the hangar. So keep that in mind. Get, get yourself a hangar before the DLC ha comes out. If you guys did go on enjoy this video, found it informative or helpful, a like and a comment will be appreciated. Subscribe new to the channel. But yeah, with all that out of the way, I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, everybody.